garbage. It's generally not associated with anything positive. But what if we could take this and turn it into this? We could save money, increase exercise, and reduce the amount of smog pollution in the air. The solution is simple. I thought it dawned on me while I was skateboarding through the city, wondering what I was going to do my TED talk on. I noticed that a car had been circling the block looking for parking, but it couldn't park because of all the trash cans lining the streets. So you have to figure that if they were all in the same place, we would, it would be much more convenient for, um, for citizens. But that's not the only thing that it could solve. I did some research, and $43 billion every year go towards managing garbage trucks. They, reduce, they release over three dozen different pollutants into the air, and they get roughly three miles per gallon. Annually, they use 8,600 gallons of gas. To put that into perspective, the average family SUV only uses 600. To quote a PDF from um, Waste Management, the operating conditions that lead to the poor fuel efficiency of garbage trucks include their constant stop and go driving. So the, sim the simplest solution to this would be to decrease the stopping and increase the going. This can be solved by simply moving our trash cans to the end of the street. This is the average garbage truck route. It needs to visit every single face of every single block in order to pick up all the trash cans from the houses. However, if we just move it to the end of the street, the route is reduced sub substantially. Simply by doing this, we can increase the amount of money we have, reduce the amount of smog pollution in the air, and increase exercise. Thank you for your time.